Hey, uh, welcome back to Games You Watch. What the fuck is this? <laughs> this is Tyler Tasmanian Tiger. Is this the game that was Australians were saying was offensive because of its horrible stereotypes of Australian voices, but the entire cast is Australian? I think, yes. I don't know if they did find it offensive. It they is did. a little stereotypical. And yeah, they were they like they were like blaming the company that made the game about like stereotyping well, Australians, but the entire voice cast, the voice director, and the writer of the game are Australian. Australian. No, I, the director and stuff aren't. I do know that some of the voice crew is. I believe that's accurate. They did take. I know that they took like a really extravagant trip to Australia as an excuse yeah. for research, which they. I don't think they used any of that research. Really, this is very bizarre. I didn't mean director as in like game director. Oh, okay. I meant the voice director. Oh, okay. As then as yeah, like, probably. Yeah. So, As in the person who decided to give them all the stereotypical voices. Let me say, before we start, this is actually one of the best ports of an old game to ever hit PC. Ah. It works perfectly. It is not buggy at all. It has full-on options for graphics. It's beautiful. It's amazing. So this is Taz, Ty Tasmanian Tiger. I got this game for Christmas a really long time ago. I actually wanted it. I don't think they did a lot of marketing for it, so I don't remember why I wanted I've it. I've never heard of it, so. <laughs> but um, we're just gonna do one episode of this for funsies and play a little bit of it. I guess I've completed 32% of the game so far. Sweet. But uh, we're just gonna do a new save file so you can see the pre-rendered cutscenes and everything oh, and all God. their glory. Nostalgia. But look at this. It's full, like, widescreen and everything. Like, they, Look oh, at that texture. You can still tell it's a flat surface. <laughs> oh, did you see those rocks in the little in the water? No, I didn't. Oh, my God. Looking at you while talking. <laughs> yeah, I gotcha. Yeah. yeah. This, like, weird EDM music they use and everything. He... I don't think his mouth's actually like animated when it's idle. It's just always in that angry pose. Oh no, never mind. I was wrong. <laughs> I gotcha! I gotcha! Okay, Ty, I'm in. Catch me if you can! Wait, that's the opposite of how the tag works. You tag someone and they're it, not you. Don't move, mate! It's I'll get a joke. Help. No, I don't think it's a joke. I think nah. it's just a mess up. Or a different, maybe it's a cultural difference in speech. I doubt it's a cultural oh, difference. Oh, I'm sure it's not. That's like just the easiest excuse I could think of. Come on, this is a Japanese game. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. Don't be the afraid, Ty. Ethnicity of the I am Nandu Gili, the Bunya Belder. Can uh, I, mate? It's time you knew the oh, truth. Been, yeah, I think they were European or something. But they might be American. Years ago. A great battle was fought over the fate of five mystic talismans. Oh man, the lore. Is this the origin story of Australia? <laughs> uh, look at this, look at this thing. This man. Giant gorilla. Yeah. Right, now you can play Look at the, the bad guy. Yeah, he's a cassowary. Yep. They did a really good job of using like, a bunch of Australian animals. Yeah. Remember the comet! This, I'll never understand the sound effect for the boomerang. You also, you're missing out on Shadow of the Tasmanian Tiger. Now I see it. <laughs> now! None of this makes any sense. This reminds me of, uh. What show was it? I was playing no, the, all those Tyson Tigers popping up. Donkey Kong Country? No, it reminds me of like. This I, whole thing reminds me of Donkey Kong Country. Yeah, you hear that music, that like, action music? Yeah, the, I know, that's it, a generic. It's from like a cartoon yeah, show. There was a, a thing that a happened. Things. It's just really generic. Thing. In one, in one episode, a bunch of. Courage of Cali Dog. When the government uh, oh, ninjas yeah. popped up. Yeah, it was playing similar music to that. And they get, they're just like making poses and stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> so yeah. This game, it still very obviously looks like a PS2 GameCube era game. You know? Yeah, yeah. They never really like fully up res anything when you port something. But this looks pretty solid for a PC port. Yeah. Uh, they... Minus how fucking bright red everything is. 
Yeah, it's oh, probably just because of the light. It seems like the lighting Look at his jump. was updated, but is the actual lighting effects oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and like they the didn't textures actually aren't add, updated or anything. Like that. Yeah, it didn't actually add like what's it called? Uh, uh, uh-huh. yeah, that it's thing. the. But look at this jump! Look at how huge it is. Oh my god, it's gigantic! It's g'day, amazing. Julia. It feels nah, really good. I was well. G'day. So you old. It's like, here's <laughs> the voice. The bump maps. That's what it's for. They didn't actually add bump maps to it. This yeah. contraption the is the key to finding the talismans. Actually, if you look close enough, you can see the alien. Why is this so? Uh, yeah, it's models. quite simple, really. <laughs> It uses an oscillatory microcomputer uh, to scan the trace energy signals that match capture. the unique power metrics of the talismans. Oh, so Chrome Studios. Oh, the experiences this game? Yeah. yeah. Mm, are from Australia. Like a big oh, they are from Australia? Yeah. yeah. Oh, we got that horrible one then. Yeah. Well, I said that from the beginning. Oh, well, no, it's no, okay. But yeah, there it is. Point is, there's the voice strange. acting. It's very Australian. Yeah. Yeah. Capitals in Brisbane. Of course. A lot of them will have already been found. Or are you just talking about the capital of Australia? The headquarters. headquarters. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Their capital is in Brisbane. Are they a country? Sorry. No, they, they moved to the capital after, like, 2007? Okay. Two up. He's drinking booze. The old this billabong has got the lot. This billabong has got the lot. It's a shame that people kept trying to capture the glory of mascot platformers. Yeah. After they were so clearly dead. But this is a fun game. It's I just, mean, they um, weren't completely dead. There were still a few that were. Yeah, that were really, remembered. Like Jack. And Bubsy. Really? You really going for the meme? I'm not going for the meme. Just, Bubsy was clearly fondly remembered for being bad. For being. Okay, that's different. Yeah. Bubsy. Fuck. <laughs> so there are a few things in this game that are very poorly designed. There's a reason why people like talk, camera. Still talk about Bubsy to this day, but they don't talk about time. They um, they have a really good free camera, but yeah. the camera following itself is actually pretty bad. It's actually pretty much exactly what they do with the ukulele. Ah, uh, okay. The camera's way too close to the character. Yeah, seems like it already. And it collides oh, instead of going through collision. Um, any collision meshes, it just... Hits them. It's that's a pretty high concept to you know yeah. get working. See that? Like, I mean, I crazy. know Mario sixty four got it working <laughs> back well, in. No, Mario sixty four. There's still a lot of things the camera collides. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm not saying it's, it. You got to work it perfectly. But yeah. So these are little fire eggs. Uh, they're what allows you to move on to new level. Oh no, probably not. What? They allow that... you to exit the level. You have to collect enough before you can leave the level. Roger. So that's what it is. I think they do other stuff. La- they do other stuff in la- later levels. Oh, these are one of the enemies. Oh, they allow you to buy other like up versions of the ring. No, the no. lightning one, the ice one. Or, or no, like, you don't like, buy them. You get, you just get those incrementally. Oh, okay. Uh, they're used in uh, different stuff in the levels, I think. I'm not honestly remembering too much of it. There might be some upgrades that are related to that. Roger. To using these. I don't honestly know off the top of my head. A little wallaby oh, and saving. Sweet. No, no is that in this game or is that in the second game we get second boomerang? You, you get a boomerang in the second boomerang in this one. Oh, and you do get elemental boomerangs as well. Oh, we really talked about it. Yeah, but I didn't know if you were going to like go back and be like, oh, Because uh, uh, you, you said that about the two boomerang thing also. Did I? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was just talking about like, I know you get upgrades. I just didn't know if you bought them or not. Yep. I've never played this game. I've yeah. uh, seen I people play it and talked about it. played a lot of it, surprisingly. It. Uh, I was on a binge of a certain YouTuber who does reviews of 3D platformers. So, I've had 3D platformers in mind a lot lately. I don't remember these guys being in this level. What you and I do? I don't know. Yeah, I think they're kangaroos. Um, yeah, I've, I played this game a lot as a kid, and then I got to an area I could never figure out how to get packs. Ah, uh, okay. Um, I think if, it's, if I'm remembering correct, correctly. Oh, he has a homing attack. Oh my god. It actually feels more responsive than Sonic's. <laughs> <laughs> That's because there isn't a delay to his. Yeah. But, um, I got to this part as a kid that I could not figure out how to get past. I think I looked up as an adult and it was like super easy. I was just in the wrong area. Oh, okay. Like, there's just an area off to the side that I couldn't spot because I was a dummy kid. That's fine. I Plus, got stuck in, like, Ocarina of Time because of, in the Forest Temple. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Because I the missed first key in the first room. Always the first key, it always yeah. gets you. So, you know, I, I could see that being a good deal. We're gonna have to um, play that too. Okay. But we'll, yeah, we'll play 3D though. Oh, so at least, like, it looks better. I mean, we're not. I'm not saying we'll play it like even this month. No, I was like, saying okay, we had uh, in the gets playing. Yeah, it's more like everyone plays on Queen of Time. Yeah, exactly. Which means at some point we will have to play it. I'm not saying it's gonna be. Amazing. I'm, I'm gonna say even this year. What can we add to not Queen of Time playthrough? I, well, I don't know. I just chomped that guy's ass. So. <laughs> you are a Tasmanian tiger. Okay. So I would expect no less. The gold. Oh no, that's right. It's the gold gears that are used to buy uh, upgrades. I say that, but do Tasmanian Tigers do the ass chomp thing? I don't know. I don't even know what an actual Tasmanian Tiger... Put up an actual Tasmanian Tiger picture. <laughs> That's what they look like. Oh my god, look at the vicious teeth and the... The wonder it went extinct. Yeah, and the weird pink coloring and the fact that they're made entirely out of magma. <laughs> Have fun editing that, or whoever edits this. That's oh, it's actually a pretty easy edit. Uh, well, it's an easy edit if you want to, like, half-ass it. Which, if it's me, I will do that. <laughs> I do not remember these kangaroos being here at all. Like, I don't even remember them being in the game. That is a lie. Well, you to be fair, you haven't played the game. <laughs> I wouldn't expect you to remember much of it. I mean, I at least remember the fact that your character's name is Taz. There's no, a shadow. it's not. Your name's Ty. Taz, the shadow of the no, hedgehog. It's Ty, still. Rival who, who shows up. Oh, no, and he's not a. He doesn't pay off at all. No, that wasn't a rival character. That was just um, one of his ancestors. No, no, no. There is a shadow of the hedgehog rival character Wait, who shows up. That might be one of the later games. No, it's in this game. Really? Yeah, in the later games. I guess games, that's just never a, where I got far enough. He becomes a good friend of yours. I know in later games you get like a werehog transformation. Do you? Or something like that. You get a car. Wait, you get a car in one of them? I've never played. You get like ones. a jet robot, a robot. Oh, oh I don't have swimming. You get the robot right. tank, Metal Gears, yeah, no. in the second one, and you get like a. Now that's something we should. Helicopter. That's something we should play uh, sooner rather than later. So Metal Gear, yeah. Which one? Uh, any of them. I've never played any of the Metal Gear. Ah, uh, okay. Games. Yeah. Uh, I always recommend three because it's easy to get into. Oh, well, I've watched a full playthrough of three. That's then let's do two or one. Yeah. Which are harder to get into, but uh, they're just fun. Yeah. I mean, I, would, I wouldn't be adverse to playing it. Just because we get to listen to the opening. <laughs> yeah, but then again, we get to play one and listen to the fantastic voice acting. Oh, God. You know, I respect David Hayter for caring about voice actor unions and shit, but I hate him as a voice actor. He's so bad. The way you talk about it, Snake is so great. The way he always asks things in the same inflection, meaning he... Making it sound like he doesn't pay attention to conversations at all. Yeah. Uh, the way he is... The way he prattles on about guns. Yeah. The way he's got a hot or rabid boner. Oh my god, the way his... That's what, I think that's one of my favorite, like, that's the scene in, um, uh, Metal Gear Solid 3. I was like, maybe David Hayter isn't that good of a voice actor. <laughs> is when he just, like, starts prattling on about the custom gun that, uh, Eve brought, brings him. I was like, uh, ah, no, maybe not. Maybe I could be a better voice actor than David Hayter. I wouldn't say that. Wow, rude. First off, you haven't even heard me voice acting. Look, I'm just saying David Hayter has been voice acting for two decades and now. And he's still using the and same you, voice. And you've been voice acting for none, right? I'm just saying, if I can pull off Good voice one, actor or not, you know, I'm, he's got... I'm mostly kidding. Yeah. Wait, you get the second boomerang in the tutorial wall? Oh, I didn't know that. I, I did not remember that at all. I thought it was later. No, yeah, oh well. Mom, <laughs> did you see that? Yes, I saw that. <laughs> they were attached to an anchor that was below his hand. Uh, oh my god, slow that down, please. Show that in slow motion. That was so great. I love this game. This game's very charming. It's really got a nice goofy feel to it. Yeah, oh no, it does not take itself seriously at all. I mean, like, it you can does in later, later games, but... Yeah. Oh yeah, well, that's because every game has to get dark and edgy. Just leave Jack yeah. Monster for you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> or don't, if it really hurts you that much. It doesn't hurt me. Oh yeah, I have a glide now, because I have two boomerangs. Emotionally, you just got to physically. Oh, I have a glide now. 
Because I had two people. Yeah, yeah. No, I just wanted to reiterate that. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, it doesn't make it any less, like, silly. I love it. It's great. <laughs> this is, I love this game. I really do. Oh, I like that. You shoot through your boomerang and picked up that thing and it yeah. caught the boomerang after the cutscene. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, There's a lot of really good little touches yeah, in this well, game. Like, it, it was really decently made. Yeah. Like, it was not a shoddy uh, game. Well, the fact I that there were three games at least shows it did well enough. Three games of like. <laughs> oh, wait, aren't we earning these things a little too quickly? No, because you actually need a lot of money. I think uh, that's how they adjusted like, the game. That's how they wanted to adjust the game. Um, yeah. We're done here for now at least. The rainbow cliffs. No, yeah. <laughs> I don't understand this one at all. They're like trying to find an yeah, those oh, I found it. Talisman. I found uh, it. Let me see that. At last, a misfit talisman. It's time to move out. We got four more talismans to find. You there, fetch my bags. <laughs> Fetch his pants? I heard maps, but I think neither of us are right. Um, you can tell we're like really new to actually releasing Let's Play content because we're still in the phase where we're going, we should play that, oh we should play that, instead of just like <laughs> grabbing some random crap off a shelf like this fucking shovelware we get like. I guess we're playing this for like five minutes. Here is the first real level, and... Yeah. I mean, to be fair, I don't have any shovelware games. No, I was joking. Um, this is actually a kind of an annoying level. It's very, very, like, spread out. I thought we were going to the Rainbow Cliffs. What's the rainbow about this? We were already in the Rainbow Cliffs. That's the high Oh, level. okay. Yeah. It's a really weird way of... Of, you, of displaying a portal, showing you where you currently are, instead of where you're going through the portal. Well, we, we went there already. And then I jumped into a different portal. Yeah, but the, the different, the last portal you jumped into said the Rainbow Course is why I, I was saying. The one, are you thinking about the one that was in the level? Or the, the one that was in the bubble? The one you just went through to come to here. Oh, seriously? Did it say yeah. Rainbow Course? Oh, yeah. That's why I mentioned that. Good eye, Rex. Good eye, Rex. Probably oh, shouldn't do the accent. Well, anyway. why, why isn't he the hero? He could go around poisoning everyone. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's Let, why. Like, oh, also, like Yoshi. Um, in order to she'll show you the when you in order to swim, we need special boomerang. By the way. Well in order to, oh, um, to swim. To do anything underwater, excuse oh, okay. me. Yeah. Yeah. So special sick. boomerangs. No, <laughs> we just call this we just got the ability to swim by talking to the platypus. Oh, that's actually interesting. Yeah. But now we need to go um find a seahorse who will give us boomerangs or something. Oh no that way. Then we can go talk to the seahorse. Yep. Do we have to go find a friend and lead it back? Oh yeah. My gift is to see that skimpy picture of a uh, yes. pirate, female pirate. Who who doesn't like taking pictures of skimpy female pri privates? <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, that just happened. Okay, whatever. Fuck it. I don't care. Uh. <laughs> you know what I mean. Right. Shut up. Cheers. Stop explaining everything. Jesus, this is unnecessary close-ups. Yeah, they're, they're, everything has to be a really tight show. Shut up, you see more. Is that Marge? <laughs> Homer! Come yeah. swim with me! Homie! I cannot do that impression the same thing fucking life. Although it's probably for the better, to be honest. Marge! Okay, no, we're not <laughs> We're not turning into Oni plays. It's the last Let's Player I wanna act like. It's too late. No, it's not. I feel like Kurt's course and doing me. No, please don't. Fucking ass. Fuck it. Are these guys like Dilophosaurus? No. Are you sure? Well, they look like the Jurassic Park Dilophosaurus. They're like iguanas. Do iguanas have frills like that? I don't think they do. Some do. I don't know. Yeah, go there look at There are lots of species of iguanas. Are there? Yeah. I don't. I'm not a reptile person. I don't really know reptiles. How long is this? Okay, we're almost at the 20 minute mark. <laughs> which will definitely be the stopping point. Alright. Sounds good. So yeah, I mean, 
There's not a lot more than this game for the beginning areas. <laughs> if I wanted to long play this, which I don't, we would definitely like be in this level alone for at least an hour and a half. Because like the game starts off a little slow, you need a lot of the um, stones to get to the next areas. Yeah, Kind of suffers like like Donkey Kong 64, where you um, hit a wall collectible wise, and you have to just go back in 100% levels essentially uh, to get the thing. Also has this. No, they're just frilled necklaces. Frilled necklaces. Well, these ones are underwater. Hold on, there they are. <laughs> and that's how they die. <laughs> It's uh, kind of morbid. Disturbing. Yeah, it's a little morbid. I love it. Oh, Dad, I drown. <laughs> Drowning is like one of the worst ways to die. Yeah, for sure. Oh, also, you cannot jump out of the water. That is important. Ah, uh, okay. Eh, it's alright. No, I hate it. It's like so bad. Because it just makes all these. Like, I mean, it, it makes it so that the water is used. It's like just a fast movement. Well, it should. That's exactly how water should be. I am all. Oh, it limits where you can exit out of the water, so you yeah, don't yeah. just jump into the water instead of walking around the ground. Yeah, well, just because you like doing it doesn't mean it's a dev. Well, they should. Okay. That's it for Ty Tasmanian Tiger. We will see you. Okay, I did that. <laughs> we will see you guys uh, next time. Have a good one. Bye.